What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can properly test your latency. Now before we get into that, I want to go over a couple things. So one of those things is a common misconception about testing latency. A lot of people use a lot of inaccurate tools. The most popular one being latency mod. Now I'm going to be showing off Xperf in today's video. The reason why Xperf is better for testing latency is because it provides detailed kernel level tracing and precise timing information. Now what that means is it allows for deeper analysis of the system and driver behavior. Latency Mon is just a user friendly easy tool that lacks the ability to capture granular event data and cannot identify the exact sources of latency spikes at the system level. So. That's why you should be careful with what tools you use, because even if it shows you a latency reading and you think it's right, it's completely wrong. So how we're going to be using this tool today is we're going to be, first off, getting the ADK set up and then this Lumen WPR Analyzer. You can find both of these in my Discord at discord.gg slash lumen. Once you get in, invite one of your friends and then use the command slash file access to get access to the files and you will have access to all of my free stuff. Anyway, to download this ADK setup, you're just going to open it and we're going to select this top one, install the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit to this computer, select no on the collect data hit accept and then you're going to want to uncheck all of these except for this one windows performance toolkit because that has windows performance recorder windows performance analyzer and xperf which is what we're going to be using today so once you install that it's going to allow you to open the windows performance recorder by window searching so you can just hit your windows key and look up windows performance recorder and it's going to open up this and then this is how you test so whenever you're ready to test you hit start if you're going to be doing an idle test like you're just on your desktop you know you can just start it and have no programs running let it be and then hit save once you're done and then if you're going to be running a game you can just hit start minimize it open your game and then hit save once you're done now, I recommend doing tests while you're playing your game because if you're aiming to make your game feel the best, you know, you want to lower your latency for Fortnite, let's say, it's best to test your latency while on Fortnite to make sure that that's what you're lowering. So, once you're ready to test, you're going to hit start, and it's just going to start the timer right here. I recommend testing for around 3-5 to five minutes for the most accurate testing and even higher if you want to just be super super accurate. I'm not going to do a 5 minute test for this video obviously, I just want to show you how to use it, but once you're done you just would hit save and save like this, right? And then you can just hit ok. Now you can open up the Lumen WPR Analyzer and hit load ETL. Now I am in this path right here which is not where you know your WPR stuff is normally going to be it's normally going to be in documents and WPR files down here and like this so here's all my captures but I'm going to be showing some of these today so we can do a little sneak peek at my uh, next video which where I'll be testing all these different custom OS's so let's just pop in one of these I don't know we'll just go hype OS so the WPR analyzer is going to load and it's going to give you a couple different statistics. It's going to give you the average and the max. So max is like the max point that the latency reached and your average is the value that it kind of sticks at. And then down here is your total average and your total max. Now this test right here I would say is a pretty average test for being optimized. It's not anything too crazy, but it's pretty good. Uh, DXG kernel is a little high, NTOS kernel is really good, the NBLD kernel is okay, or uh, NBLD KM, I'm sorry, not kernel. <laughs> uh, but anyway, down here you have your, your totals and that's pretty much all there is to it. You can check your latency from here and you can compare tests. Once you load another test, 
it's going to show you an up arrow of where it went up and where it went down that way if you're trying to compare two tests it can give you an easy way to tell what areas improved and what areas did not here's the arrows so you can see if it's uh, pointing up you know obviously it means it went up and then pointing down means it went down so that way you can easily see which areas improved and which ones didn't but anyway that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one